Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 29th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Grant, some interesting headlines this week highlighting the uh, growing use of insurance uh, year to date as we're on track for one of the busiest years for insurance uh, since 2009 and the uh, height of the financial crisis. Uh, can you take us through what's going on? Sure. I mean, the um, so Bloomberg, uh, I think you're referring to the the Bloomberg Insight column this week, and, and uh, yeah, again, as you mentioned, it's climbed to the highest level since the crisis. And I think, you know, and that's really despite the market being pretty red hot this year. Typically, um, uh, you know, not as active uh, an environment, so it's pretty bullish. I mean, we uh, in Q4 we've got a little bit higher rates, uh, a little bit more normalized uh, uh, municipal market valuations, and so. Um, you know, I think that uh, those are factors where, you know, we see even higher penetration rates in bond insurance. So I think, um, you know, it's been cost effective for issuers through 2021, and I think it's only going to increasingly get so. And one of the points raised in that column was the idea that uh, the increase in demand that you saw immediately following the uh, uh, the uh, COVID crisis last spring has really been lasting, that investors have seen the uh, value uh, sustained. Exactly. So, the, the impact of, of COVID-19 was fairly temporary, but I, as, I think as you point out, the, uh, the impact has been pretty lasting. So um, it's, uh, it's all good. You know, in terms of, um, you know, the preliminary total for next week's uh, new issue volume is about 6 billion. So that's 25% you know, below kind of the average weekly rate for the year. So that'll be the second below average uh, week in a row. And I think, you know, some of that is probably uh, related to the uncertainty around the municipal bond provisions um, that are being debated down in, in D.C. Maybe you can get into that a little bit later. But um, And I just think uh, that um, there also has been a little bit of a weaker market tone, um, which has led to a little bit uh, less issuance. But um, I think that, you know, given this week the market has had a much better tone, you had uh, valuations kind of cheapen, so munis became a little bit more attractive. You had funds uh, flowing back into the muni ETFs uh, compared to previous weeks. So, um, you know, it's uh, I think the dealers ended up uh, getting cleaned out of a lot of inventory this week as as investors turned to the secondary market um, to uh, to get invested. So, you know. Um, I think uh, all that kind of bodes well here for the next um, few weeks. And, you know, and all that's happened, you know, despite the decreased likelihood uh, of an increase in the, um, uh, in the individual income tax rate, you know, as well as the corporate tax rate at 21%. Yeah, so let's talk for a second about uh, what was in that transaction or in the uh, legislation. Um, you know, disappointment seemed to be the key word of the day as you take a look at the uh, coverage in the bond buyer and Bloomberg and other places. People in Washington, D.C. were disappointed to see that tax exempt advance for fundings were not included in the package. They were disappointed to see an expansion of bank qualified bonds was not included in the package. Disappointed to see there are no new private activity bonds or um, uh, American infrastructure bonds like the, the BAB style bonds uh, made it into the package. Um, but I think you're right. Uh, there's a lot of other tax law changes. I think people are still taking a wait and see attitude to see where that balance is out in terms of driving broader demand for tax exempt bonds. Uh, tax rates are going up for some kinds of taxpayers. Uh, the corporate AMT may be coming back. And so uh, that could drive uh, demand higher as you go into 2022 and beyond. Um, so, you know, in the one transaction, it'll be interesting to see that, you know, rates have been much, you know, have been higher across all fixed income markets the last couple of weeks. Uh, there was uh, one significant BAM insured transaction in the last week, City of Lafayette, Louisiana, I know, was able to uh, execute on a $39 million taxable refunding transaction, so they were able to make the numbers work. It'll be interesting to see now. Uh, with tax exempt advance for fundings potentially off the table, apparently off the table, will we see issuers who might have been holding out for that starting to come into the market and going ahead to act, execute taxable advance for fundings uh, with the idea that rates might be higher uh, in a couple of months? Yeah, um, that's I, I had uh, seen a, an underwriter at a major firm, and and they did think that there was a little bit of a wait and see going on, which you know is is totally understandable. So uh, you know, the fourth quarter is typically a pretty large. Um, uh, quarter for issuance, and actually October over the last 10 years, October has been the heaviest month. Uh, we've been quite a bit below that uh, this year. And again, I think uh, it's a function of, of, um, of what you were just describing.
Yeah, and the other the other piece of the puzzle is uh, on the supply side. There is a lot of money in terms of federal grants for infrastructure in this package. A lot of those federal grants are going to require that local governments supply matching funds. Uh, so there might be some increased uh, supply in the market uh, from that side as well. So I'm sure uh, people are crunching the numbers as we speak. Uh, Congress is still working on the final legislation, so there may still be changes. And uh, we'll stay tuned for the next month. Hopefully uh, it won't drag past Thanksgiving, but we'll see uh, where we go. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 